Wait, wait, it takes that many people, people to get you an address. No, no, it's it's, it's yeah, more yeah. Yes. to be this time. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you'd be worried about it falling down. Um. But when, when I was first told they got engaged, I think my initial response somewhat underwhelmed them because uh, we were on a Zoom call. And then Katie, like that. <laughs> now, now I've got two daughters. So in my defence, two daughters who love to get their email, their uh, nails done. I've been presented <laughs> with nails many times. I did not see the engagement. And yet, so my reaction of Oh yeah, very nice. It was perhaps <laughs> a little underwhelming. <laughs> Katie, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And a token of my love. And a token of my love for you. It's when I come around and see Katie cheering me on and swearing at me, uh, telling me to hurry up, she wants dinner. Um, but the cheering part and supporting me, um, to me it's, it's been part of our lives together and I really, really hope that I can provide that same level of support for you uh, for the rest of our lives. <laughs> Katie and I can't remember how we met. Luckily, she can remember how she met Dan and their first date. Oh, I will always remember Katie casually mentioning to our friends, by the way, I'm going to dance for a Chinese takeaway, and us instantly telling her not to go as he will murder you. <laughs> However, he never did, and we're here to tell the tale. <laughs> we're gathered here today to mourn the loss of Katie's life she once had. <laughs> For now, she has decided that rather than enjoying her weekends, she will routinely have to suffer as Dan walks, runs, cycles, climbs by. And we are left to wonder, why? <laughs> but there is one thing that we have to say for him from all the years that we have known him, is that like from Katie's favorite show, that he will always be there for you. <laughs>